Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today we're going to be talking about wetness and the idea that you have to be wet to be turned on and to want to have sex. Um, so growing up, me personally, again, I'm speaking from my own personal experience in this, what I've read, what I've learned, what I've experienced talking to my other friends. Um, so I'm not a doctor, this is all coming from my own experience, but I think it's important to share our experiences um, and talk about this stuff because it helps us understand ourselves better and understand the people around us. So, recently I've been looking into this concept of wetness and how you always kind of hear about guys getting hard and that means that they are in the mood for sex and girls getting wet and that means that they're in the mood for sex um, or sexual experience. Throughout my whole childhood I thought that that was very true and then since I started my sexual education journey and taking courses and reading books and understanding my own body better, um, I've since learned that that is not always the truth. So um, I think as women we can feel this pressure that if we're not wet that means that our body doesn't want sex and that we don't want sex um, or maybe we are wet and we're not actually turned on and we don't want sex um, and so it can be really confusing when your mind and body aren't connected um, but it is normal and you can be not wet and want to have sex and you can be wet and want to have sex and I'm going to explain that um, a little bit in today's video and help you kind of understand how that happens um, but I just want to start off by saying like your body is perfect and natural and normal exactly as how it is. As much as we think it's really intuitive to listen to our bodies and to see how they respond and react, um, it's not always how it works and context matters so much in these situations. So there have been studies done in the past 30 years that um, measure someone's response to a sexual event and then that correlating to sexual arousal. So what that means is that as humans we are conditioned and we know about certain sexual events. So just like if you're walking down the street and you see a clothing store, you could be like, that's a clothing store. And then you can walk by another store and be like, that's another clothing store. And you can walk by another store and be like, that's another clothing store. Um, and your body just like registers, yep, yeah, that's a clothing store. So that's kind of sexual response. So basically whenever our body sees something sexual, it can respond by getting wet and that's just a normal response to be like, yep, yeah, that's a clothing store, that's a sexual act. So my body is responding in that way by maybe getting an erection or getting wet. Um, however, that doesn't mean that we want to go into the store and go shopping. So just because your body is getting wet or hard doesn't always relate or correlate to sexual arousal. And sometimes it's the opposite where our bodies aren't seeing the sexual relation but we are aroused and we do want to have sex. Um, and that's when we can use lube or we can use um, enhancements to help us get an erection like Viagra. Um, so a lot of it has to do with your context. It's not actually about what's sexually relevant to you in that moment. What I mean by that and what I've read is that you could be in a really sexual um, experience, so something could be super sexually relevant to you, but you might not actually want to have sex. And that has to do a lot with the context and what's going on in your mind. Um, so with women, there's not right now a drug that you can take that's going to make you um, want to have sex or turn on like a Viagra pill will. Um, a lot of it actually has to just do with our context and what's going on in our mind and we can use tools like lubrication to help us get there and enjoy it more. Um, so there are times in your life where you could be sexually aroused but you're not wet because maybe the situation isn't sexually relevant to you and your body isn't picking up on that but emotionally and mentally and in this context you feel sexually aroused. So it's completely normal to feel that way um, and I totally recommend lube and I don't want you to think or your partner to think that because there isn't a correlation between your body and what you're saying that you're not turned on always 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 trust what women are saying um, we know ourselves don't let anyone or your body trick you into thinking that you don't know what you want and you don't know what's in your gut because you do um, and don't think that there's anything wrong with that oftentimes if we're not wet we can get into our head and now all of a sudden we're not sexually aroused anymore so really just trusting how you're feeling in the situation and um, using the tools and resources around you to help um, have a better sexual experience um, and making sure that you are asking for what you need um, and that you are present and aware of your environment. So context really matters here. Um, you want to make sure that when you are engaging in a sexual experience you're feeling comfortable and satisfied and confident in your body and if you're a partner um, and your your other partner is a, a woman um, 
you want to focus more on turning off her brakes and making sure she is in a great context to want to have sex instead of looking into how wet she is because that's not always going to be correlated. So basically it's this concept of non-coordinance um, and with that it's just that context matters. So correlation doesn't cause causation. Um, listening to yourself and being really attuned to how you're feeling not necessarily how your body's reacting. I, I like to use the example of like if you're in a scary movie you could be frightened and like be like looking around and, and nervous, but you're still enjoying the movie, you still want to be there, uh, but your body could be t giving you a different type of reaction, like, I need to leave, this is too scary, da da da, but you're enjoying it. So um, not always taking our bodies as the, what's going on in our mind and thinking about context and also not stressing about it if our bodies aren't connected necessarily with how we're feeling in our heads. Um, I think that's the biggest takeaway from this is this not to get in your head about it, to feel really comfortable and confident in knowing yourself so you can know and you can communicate to your partner when you're turned on. And then also, as a partner, being open and receptive to what your partner saying and listening to them and their words, it's way more powerful than body. If you're not getting wet during sex, do not think that it means you have low sex drive, do not think that it means that you don't want to have sex. Think about the context, think about the person you're with, think about if you want to have sex with them and go off of that um, and then use the different tools and resources around you like lubrication or an erection enhancing pill like Viagra um, and work with your partner um, to create a better context for a better sexual experience. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it kind of answered any concerns you may have around wetness. Um, definitely dive into this topic more. DM me if you have questions. I know it's a little bit tricky to kind of wrap your head around. And for me, it was like, whoa, I'm unlearning this like huge thing I always thought was so known in my life. Um, but there's a lot of really great research around it. So I encourage you to dive into it. Um, and yeah, start having conversations. Talk to your friends about it. Um, I think it's how we learn and how we grow and how we um, expand our own sexual experiences and make it better for everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps the channel and I will see you for another video shortly.